The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. Time to get Matt Cash. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Matt Cat Moss. I like this guy, especially since he's not telling jokes anymore. Yeah, facing Matt Cat Moss is no laughing matter either. There is pure aggression on the face of Mad Cat Moss. I cannot win. We'll start with Mad Cat Moss, who has had quite the young career and is just now getting a taste of what it's like to go it alone. This man has had three careers in one. He's been an enforcer, he's been a sidekick. All the while, you can see the talent just bubbling below the surface. Breaking away might turn out to be the best thing that's ever happened to him. No doubt about it. Mad Cat Moss is swimming in the deep end. We'll see how he fares. But let's not forget about Theory. The guy who defines confidence the second he walks from backstage. There is confidence and there is cockiness, Corey. Pretty sure for as much as Theory has the former, he manages to overcompensate with the latter. It's the reason why he's such a target here in WWE. Oh, stop right to the hand. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Theory is known for his cocky attitude, for his showboating in and out of the ring. Would you consider that a hindrance to him here in this one, or is it the kind of mind games that could be beneficial to him? In this particular case, Cole, I think Theory could stand to cut back on the showboating. I think he's up against someone who isn't going to take too kindly to it, and I'm pretty sure they'll put an end to it in a way of their own if Theory won't himself. Goodness gracious. Now Madcap asserting control. And credit where credit's due, he's not letting Theory get into his head. Not letting him showboat. Oh, Moss gets cut off. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. taking so much energy to muster. Theory resorting to some mind games now. Super kick by Theory. Can Theory put it away here? Looking for the victory. Two kicks out, just kicked out. I do not know how you survived that. Staying alive there is unheard of. And for a silver spoon kid like Theory, you have to think he's getting more frustrated by the second. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Theory turning his attention to the crowd here. You better keep your eyes on the prize, buddy. Inside cradle applied, shoulders down. Oh, 
That was just malicious. How insulting. Uh-oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the... Jackhammer by Madcap! That's gonna be it! And the count doesn't even begin. How did he do that? take to keep this guy down. Something big. There is the punch line. Wow, stolen from his opponent's artillery. Somehow he kicked out. And he is incredulous after the kick out. Almost lost to his own move. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. These superstars must be feeding on the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Pressing the foot to the back of the head. And then a stomp. Ooh. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, not looking good at all. Jackhammer by Madcap. Moss just unloaded with that one. You throw Madcap in the deep end, and he finds a way to deliver. They might have stood him a quick takedown. We're looking for a win. against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers.